St. Hyacinth, Friar Preachers, 1257, Krakow, Poland. St. Hyacinth was a Pole, and was born in the year 1185 of the noble and Christian family of the Counts of Odroats, in the town of Kamian, in the Diocese of Ratisla. He was trained up in learning from his youth, and after studying law and theology, became a canon of Krakow, where he was eminent above his fellows by the singular godliness of his life and the depth of his learning. Being at Rome, in 1218, he was received into the order of friars preachers by the founder, St. Dominic, himself, and kept in holiness to the end of his life the rule of perfect living which he had learned from him. He remained always a virgin, and loved modesty, long-suffering, lowliness, self-restraint, and all other good graces as his heritage in the life of a friar. In the heat of his love for God, he sometimes passed whole nights in pouring forth prayers and chastising his body, to which he never gave rest but in leaning against a stone or lying upon the ground. He was sent back to his own country, and, on the way, founded a very large house of his order at Friesach, and soon afterwards another at Krakow. In other provinces of the kingdom of Poland he founded four others, and it passeth belief what success he had with all kinds of men, by his preaching of the word of God, and the innocency of his life. Not a day passed wherein he did not display some bright gift of faith, godliness, or innocency. The zeal of this most holy man for the salvation of his neighbors was that which God marked by his greatest miracles. Among these is famous the time when coming to the river Vestala near West Grade, and finding it in flood, he crossed it without a boat, drawing over also his three companions standing upon the waves upon his outspread mantle. He led a wonderful life for nearly forty years after his profession, and then foretold to his brethren the day of his death. Upon the very day of the feast of the Assumption of the Virgin, he finished the recitation of the office of the church, received the sacraments with the utmost reverence, and then with the words, Into thy hands, O Lord, gave up his soul to God in the year of salvation 1257. He was illustrious for miracles even after his death, and Pope Clement VIII numbered him among the saints. O Remus! O God, who, year by year, dost gladden us by the solemn feast day of thy blessed confessor, Hyacinth, mercifully grant unto all who keep his birthday, grace to follow after the pattern of his godly conversation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen.